going to show you our BPSK, DPSK and DEPSK modulator demodulator trainer kit order code is 40619 this is the trainer kit here these are the various components that has been used to build this trainer kit these are the ICs, resistor, capacitors are there this is the mimic diagram given on the trainer kit these are the various test points to observe the output waveform. This is false switch. There, this is the main switch here to turn on or off the K. This is the user manual and patch cards. Everything is included in this kit. And this is the CRO. We, we will need it to perform the experiments. So our first experiment is to study of carrier modulation techniques by binary phase shift keying method that is by BPSK method and this is the connection that we are going to build. So first connect this in socket to S data and then connect sign 1 to input 1 then sign 2 to input 2 then this output socket to C1 and this output with this input now we will observe the output waveform here with the help of a CRO. You can see this is the output waveform. If you do not get clean output waveform, vary this switch, this switch 1 to get a clean output waveform. Now we will see the waveform. So, first we are going to see the output waveform at S clock. So this is the output waveform at S clock. Now we will see the output waveform at S data. Sorry, we will see the waveform at S data. This is the output waveform. So if you do not get the waveform, adjust this is the switch 1 and you will get the clean output waveform this switch. Now we will see the waveform at here NRZ. L coder. This is the output waveform. Now you will see the sign output waveform. This is sign 2 waveform. And this is the output waveform, carrier modulator output waveform.
also observe the conversion of sin 2 square wave. This is the sin wave. And observe the conversion here. This is the output square wave waveform. Observe the sin 2 square wave converter. This is the sin 2 square wave converter. This is the squaring loop. This is divided by 2 and this is the output. So, first we will observe the input signal. This is the sin wave. Now, we will see the sin 2 square wave inverter, sorry converter. You can see this is the squaring loop. This is divided by 2. And this is the recovered data. So, our next experiment is to study differential encoding techniques for non return to zero data. So, this is the circuit diagram this is the connection that we need to build. This here is the connection. So, first connect this to S data and then S clock to here clock in. Then this output sorry this one here output to data in now connect this output to sign 2. Sorry, this will be connected with the CRO. So, this is the differential encoder output data. Now, we will observe some waveform on different test point. So, first we will see non return to 0 encoder output data. This is the one. Then we will see differential encoder data this and this is the S clock data you can see this is the S clock waveform. Our next experiment that is experiment 3 is to study of carrier modulation technique by differential phase shift keying method or DPSK method. This is the connection that we are going to build to perform this experiment. So, first connect this input to S data connect S clock to clock input, connect sin 1 to input 1, 
connect sin 2 to input 2 and connect output to C1. and connect this output to data input. Connect this output to this input and connect this delay input to here output and connect this here delay output to here delay input of DPSK decoder. And connect another connection will come will be connected I mean come from here that is delay input to here DPSK decoder input. Now we will observe this output waveform in CRO. So, you can see this is the output waveform now we will see some waveform at this very different test point. So, first this one this one this is non return to 0 L data. Now, this one differentially encoded data I will check the sine wave you can see this is the sine wave. this is the sign waveform this is a dpsk decoder data this is DPSK decoder data and to see the DPSK mod output this is the DPSK mod output here you can check this. Our next experiment is to study of carrier modulation techniques by differentially encoded phase shift keying method that is DEPSK method. So, this is the connection that we are going to build to perform this experiment. So, first connect input to here is data is clock to clock input the output data and this differential encoder data input will be connected. Now, sign 1 will be connected with input 1 and sign 2 will be connected to input 2 output will be connected with C 1 this output 
clear modulator output will be connected with this input. This delay input point will be connected with here at the output and this delay output will be connected with delay input. So, now we will see the various waveforms and the output waveforms in the CRO. So, first we will check the non return to 0 L data. This is the output waveform. Now, we will again check the differentially encoded data. This is the differentially encoded data. Now, we will check the DEPSK modulator output. This is the DEPSK modulator output. Also, we will see the DEPSK decoder data. This here is the output waveform. 